Heather Springer is putting her life-saving skills to the test. I think it teaches you to be ready, it teaches you to be observant um, and prepared. Springer is among 16 of the Port Richmond Community Emergency Response Team's newest members. The island volunteers are trained by the city's Office of Emergency Management and assist first responders in emergencies. After 10 weeks of training, the new recruits took their final test Wednesday night. In the drill, they put out fires and escorted people to safety. Now you're in an environment, in a scenario that mimics real life where decisions have to be made, the scene has to be made safe. Uh, your people have to be accounted for. Springer says she was inspired to join the team when she volunteered after Hurricane Sandy. Realizing that as just a regular community person, you can do so much. I think for myself, it inspired me to actually want to be even more in the community. The Staten Island CERT team is one of 50 across the city. They help search for missing people, run community events, and have a radio system that allows them to communicate even when the power goes out. It's the same thing that we do on Staten Island to try to help first responders is the same thing that every CERT team in the city is doing. They're trying to get people, trying to develop that talent so they could go out and help their neighbors. Sedona says the CERT team is in need of new members because he says they've been asked to help out more on Staten Island in the recent years. I have people that do eight hours a month. I have people that do 28 hours a month. Every little bit helps. And many like Springer say they hope their efforts will inspire others to pay it forward. To learn more, visit SICERT.org. On Staten Island, Aaron Dickens, New York One.